In this video, you're gonna get five tips on how to shoot dope portraits with a wide angle lens. Also, be sure to watch until the end of the video to get a few bonus tips. Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. On this channel, I share portrait photography tutorials and gear reviews. And in today's video, I met up with Boston-based fashion photographer, Sydney Clare, to see how she shoots portraits with a wide angle lens. Now, Sydney uses a Sigma 35 millimeter F1.4 lens on her Canon 5D Mark III. So she's gonna be sharing her top five tips on how to get the best portraits with a 35 millimeter lens. Let's check it out. This is a 1.4 um, for the lowest aperture on this lens. Um, when I'm shooting really wide portraits with a, like a 35, which is what I actually use for everything, not gonna lie, the uh, 35 at low aperture is beautiful. Yeah, I love the hands back. Bring your head up a little bit. Right there, that's beautiful. Wow, amazing. With all my fashion work, I like to shoot from a low angle, I feel like it really empowers the model. Um, it makes your models look really tall. When you're shooting from a higher angle, especially when you're shooting a female model, sometimes it can look kind of like, um, like you have the position of power. And it's all about flipping that position of power and like making a model look really like strong and beautiful. So um, a lot of the times I'll shoot from super low angles, like I'll be on the ground. Um, I actually got the cops called on me recently for being on the ground because somebody thought I was dying. Dan, watch out for my life. Yeah. <laughs> it's usually good to bring an assistant for stuff like this. So like, yeah, that low, like I'm like on the ground, um, like shooting up because um, it makes people look really powerful. And that's how I get those like crazy angles with a lot of my shots. And it's just empowering for the models. The great thing about a 35 when you're doing portraits, especially super close, is you can start to play with hands and arms and really get something really cool compositionally because you can be this close, like here, and it's good. Gorgeous, bring your head up a little. Yes, I love that. The reason why I use a wide lens with portraits is because it gives that tiny bit of distortion that kind of makes the photo otherworldly. It gives it a lot of dimension. I think the distortion can work if you do it right. You don't want to be distorting anything like a nose, but if you distort your eyes to look bigger, like if you're really particular about how you go about distorting things, it's a really amazing look. I know if somebody has crazy amazing cheekbones, I'll make sure the cheekbones are a little distorted. Like I'll make sure those are the highlight of the photo by distorting them a little because that's how you really like highlight people's like cool facial features. Like for her, I loved her eyes. So like, I'm like, okay, that's where I want them to look bigger. Yo, I love these. Let me do one close too. It's so beautiful. I got my hair in there. So you gotta watch <laughs> stuff. It's really just about how you angle it. And you know, being at a low aperture also helps. Take 10 steps back when you're taking like a fashion shot that's not a portrait. You know, like if you're doing like a really cool outfit or something, take like, like wherever you would be to take like a full body shot and just literally. So look at how I'm framing this. You've got these two on the side, that beautiful building in the back. And I'm making sure that I have, look at, see that's the frame I'm gonna use but like, I'm gonna make sure that I'm not cropping out any of those windows. I'm keeping all that dimension. And then when I get low, and then here, just walk forward. Then when you look at the composition, you're not cutting anything, everything's in focus. Like, it's more of a scene and less of like, here's a person with a blurry background. Bonus tip. So this is like the way to get studio lighting outside. So you just put somebody under something and it all that light catching, because the light's coming in, is gonna make it look like a studio. And maybe put your hands in your hair, you know what I mean? And then yeah, bring yeah, your yeah. face up. Yep, because it's lighting. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my God, beautiful. Wow, oh my God, it's reflecting, that's amazing. Wow, these are dope. Doesn't it look like studio too? Yeah. It's like crazy. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I love these too. These are really cool. So yeah, that's my little studio trick. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. If you want to build on some of the tips that you learned in this video, I just released a new ebook called 101 Portrait Photography Tips. It walks you through all of the different things you can do to improve your portrait photography, improve your editing, do better on social media, and improve the way that you work with models. So if you're interested in checking that out, I've put a link in the description. It's only $5.99, so be sure to check out that ebook. 101 portrait photography tips. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace.